Many people consider it the signature moment of the 20th century, the moment 50 years ago that humans first walked on the moon. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Syracuse University professor Sean O'Keefe was NASA administrator under President George W. Bush. My four years there was really quite an extraordinary experience. O'Keefe told Bridge Street that one of his great honors was getting to know the heroes of his childhood, the astronauts who risked their lives to tackle the final frontier. But for you know, someone who is ready to, to yield to that particular human desire we all have. Mm -hmm. Yes. To want to learn, know what's on the other side of that ridge, etc. But a few of us actually have the temerity to say, I'm going to go find out. Right, <laughs> yeah. right. And, and they're extraordinary people, but they are in many ways you come to find out just like all of us. Mm -hmm. Here at the most in Armory Square, the focus is on the future, helping to prepare the next generation of astronauts. The most Silverman Planetarium features a mission moon program every day. And the Lockheed Martin Flight and Space Exhibit gives kids a chance to learn about missions past, to experience weightlessness, and to think what it might be like to travel into space, even to someday live on the moon. The space program may not have the high profile it once had, but it still has young people looking to the skies and dreaming about the possibilities. I love thinking about space and all the stars. And Actually, I love looking at the stars like at night and trying to like, make pictures and stuff. And it's so cool. When I go on the moon, I'm going to try to bring a big circle oval thing so it will fit around the moon so we have oxygen. Some people think of the science of the moon. Some think of the inspirational side. And some, well, some just take the practical approach. Would you like to live on the moon? No way, Jose. Why? Because the moon. I don't want to wear a helmet all the time. From the most, I'm Tim Fox, News Channel 9. Yeah, who wants to wear a helmet all the time? Well, tell me something good. You got a great story worth sharing? Send us an email at something good at localsyr.com or post to social media using the hashtag something good SYR.